Okay, so if any of you are still watching this channel, why? And secondly, my associates and I could not get together anymore to do videos. And when we couldn't get together anymore to do videos, we agreed that we'd post our own stuff on this channel. So, I'm going to tell you what I plan to do with it. I've watched an anime called Robotech since I was eight, and I became a hardcore fan somewhere in 2003. I created a fan site called Space Station Liberty a few years ago, and my intent is to post videos of that, you know, for my website. Also, one of my favorite, well, my favorite video game franchise of all time is celebrating its 30th anniversary the way Robotech did last year. So keep an eye on videos about that as well. Now, I couldn't tell you what my associates are doing, but my plan is to post like two Let's Plays a week, maybe do a rant or a review or something also like twice a week. Now that all depends on my workload. Uh, I will also cover any piece of Robotech news as it comes out and provide my opinion analysis type thing to it. Um, I'm also going to, there's one thing I'm thinking about doing, but I'm not sure yet, is I'm going to be hosting screenings of Robotech for my friends uh, that I'm trying to get into Robotech. And I may do like a commentary reacts kind of video of us watching it. I'm not sure. Um, I'm also I I'm going to focus on characters and mecha and stuff that's going to be in future projects, and then go back to stuff that's going to uh, that's already part of the canon. Uh, I'm going to do a, my first let's play is going to be. Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. So keep an eye on that. Okay. Now that all of that stuff is out of the way, 2015. It was an average year for Robotech news. There were their ups and there were downs. Um, but let's first talk about a couple people who passed away that were involved in either Robotech or the three Japanese counterparts. Now, Noriyoshi Arai. I'm not sure if I got his name right. It's going to be down there somewhere. Uh, he did the... He's famous for his international poster of The Empire Strikes Back. But he also did this artwork for the Macross series. Now, while he didn't do anything Robotech related, and his art never really made it into the States per se, I'm going to give him his credit here, because he's due for some credit. That Those are good pieces of art. Um, also, Robert W. Gibson wrote Eternity Comics' Return to Macross series as well as Academy's Civil War Stories, Academy Blues, and Breaking Point, the Cadet Lisa Hayes special. He did a lot in the Robotech community, too. I've heard stories of him answering questions regarding Robotech lore, uh, sending people comics that they didn't have in order to complete their collection, for free, and for all intents and purposes, he's one of the best ambassadors for Robotech outside of Carl Masick. Of course we got merchandise, I mean, that's Harmony Gold's game. They reached an agreement with 80s tees, and they're, the t-shirts there are actually kind of nice, a lot better than what you'd find on Robotech.com. However, a couple of them are pretty pricey, yeah. 
we got a 155th Beta that's based on the Masterpiece Collection, but is not Masterpiece Collection. We got one 100th Valkyries, and in other news, Harmony Gold announced a Plan B for Robotech Academy. Now, whether or not they're still going through with it, more on that later, uh, their plan was to negotiate with new media, which is to say Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc., and attempt to get the necessary funding for it. Now, in the middle of the year, Robotech.com got hacked. Again. And though they've been pushing the 30th anniversary, they let the website be down for over a quarter of the year. And when they did finally reopen the website, it was simply a home page with links to the store and to their Twitter page and to their Facebook page with a couple of news stories, including a pathetic apo uh, goodbye to the old Robotech.com. Now, while their website is worse, Shopify is what they're using for their Robotech store. Now, Shopify takes the payment information and keeps it, sending Harmony Gold only what product and where to send the product to. So, the big news of 2015 is that Sony Pictures purchased the rights to the Robotech live-action movie. Now, while Warner Brothers did let their rights expire on the live-action movie, Sony Pictures seemingly is running full steam ahead with this IP. They have their full executive crew, and they've been writing the script for probably about six months now. Uh, I'll do a video going more in depth later, but Gianni Nanari and Mark Canton, the producers of uh, the three, two 300 movies in The Immortals, are producing this movie. Michael Gordon is writing the script, and James Wan, the director of Fast and the Furious 7, is doing the directing for this movie. I'm fairly optimistic that this is going to be made, and I'm expecting that we'll start getting a stream of news regarding the movie in the coming year. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Harmon Gold released a couple of pictures about, uh, uh, of, not about, of a figurine that they say will come out in 2016. And it's kind of nice, yeah. I'm hoping it's part of a larger series, but that's all I have right now. Uh, my, please visit my website. The link is in the description below. And a small note on that, the website is not yet complete, so there will be more coming. And I hope that you enjoy what you'll enjoy what I have to offer and I hope you enjoyed your 2015 and here's to your 2016 being even better see you guys